So behind these doors, they are currently building the Octagon. It's the first time a UFC event has ever been held here in the Co-op Arena in Manchester. Let's go check it out. When you think of the Octagon, you don't expect it to look anything like that. Almost nothing has been made yet, so it's clearly still under construction. Let's see if we can sneak down and have a look. Just got the wristband. You're gonna have to blur this, by the way, James, after this, just so we don't have another YouTuber sneaking in, do you know what I mean? You never get to see this part. Like, just think, in two days' time, Leon Edwards and Tom Aspinall will literally be right in there. And at the moment, it's just a concrete floor. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but those screens right there that they're currently setting up, there's a little antenna on top of them. That antenna is where they receive the sound from inside the octagon. So this is where they'll be monitoring Bruce Buffer's voice, all of those lovely slap, crack sounds when you, someone gets absolutely walloped in the face. That all comes from here. Looks like we found one of the big screens before it's been lifted up into the air. It's actually crazy to see how much gear that actually goes into this sort of stuff. There's so many plugs, there's so many what looks like sci-fi computers, there's wires all over the floor, and hopefully we'll see both Leon and Tom raising their hands on this big screen come Saturday night. We've just come all the way up, I mean all the way up to the top. As you can see, the view is actually awesome from up here. And just so you know, seat 544, you're a cheapskate up in the nosebleeds. So they're, currently, they're just testing the lights. There we go, there's the lights. The screen that we pointed out earlier over there has been hoisted up into the air now. Things are starting to take shape. It's looking a little bit more like a UFC event. So, they're currently building the stage in the Octagon. Let's go see if we can find the canvas that is about to be laid. So they've just, some of the lads have just been on there jumping up and down. It looks like they were testing it and it's ready for the canvas. Obviously, it's going to be all the names that have come from UFC collectibles. It's going to be all the way around the outside. So currently they are removing the first canvas because I was taking some content and I looked down and I realised that there were no names printed on the canvas. So we have 100 spaces up for grabs to put your name on the canvas at every single pay-per-view event. So we have all the printed names ready to go onto the canvas so that you guys at home can see your name while the action is happening. But yeah, noticed that it was missing and we called on somebody, they had a little look and they were like, something's gone wrong here. And we realised that the backup canvas had been used. So there's always a backup canvas just in case so you can see in the background now they're just taking it off and then they're gonna put on the proper real number one canvas with everyone's name so you at home will be able to see your name so now I'm really nervous because if this new canvas comes out and there's no names on it I'm gonna <laughs> myself. I bet you didn't know that there was two canvases if you didn't know now you know literally building the octagon around us right now. I'm stood 
right in the middle. Apparently my present is in here somewhere. I have a tiny idea of what I think it might be. Here I am. I'm in a good spot, you know, actually. Leon Edwards is literally my favorite fighter out there, so I couldn't have picked a better fight. Thank you to Memento Exclusives and all the guys back in the office. What an incredible present and an amazing surprise. Like, if I'm being 100% honest, middleweight champ, less than two years, I love Leon, but I'm gonna knock him out right there on top of my name. Right, Alex, this is the last round. You're gonna to need to knock him out, okay? Are you saying I'm losing on the cards? Yes, you're four, <laughs> you're four rounds down. You <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Stop, don't let him bully your son. So, it's actually like, it's a little bit smaller width ways than you think it would be. It looks longer, like across the octagon. Doesn't really make sense to me. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's what it is. It's super bouncy. Everything just seems a little bit different to what you think it would feel like. Name this athlete. Is that good enough? Do you want me to go back again? There's a very small list of people who've done the McGregor strut in a UFC octagon. I know, it's just me and him. We're part of an elite team now, at him. Actually, Leon did it. Did he? Yeah, oh. when, he, when he knocked out Kamaru. Tap. Wait, get on the floor. No one taps at that position. <laughs> Uppercut me, I'll go down. Oh. <laughs> so that is how UFC canvas gets laid. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more stuff like this.